Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin. In today's video, I want to talk about the new solar law that passed that gives you a 30% credit on solar. So for most of you guys, anyone that's interested in getting solar is also interested in getting a tax credit. Currently, the environment that we were in was this year we were supposed to get 26% tax credit. The next year, 2023, was supposed to go down to 22 and then expire in 2024. This month, August of 2022, there was a law passed that's going to extend it for 10 more years at 30%. I want to talk about what that really means and if you're even eligible for that 30%. First, I want to talk a little bit about our system here. It's a 10 kilowatt microinverter system powered by Enphase. And all that basically means is we have 27 panels up here at 370 watts each, which is a total of 9,990 watts. So we're rounding it up to 10 kilowatts. And everything that's in that system is covered under this 30% tax credit because I bought everything new and unused. And that's what it calls for in that tax law. So we thought we were going to be getting 26% on this, but it turns out that it's retroactive back to January the 1st of this year and forward for the next 10 years. So meaning we are going to be getting that 30% tax credit because we have a tax liability and we'll get 30% of that back in a tax credit, not a check. Now, after that 10 years, of this new law so in 2022 they put it in effect so 3032 will be the last year of that 30 percent and then in 3033 did i say 30 or did i say 20 i mean 2032 is the last year of this 30 percent tax credit and then in 2033 it'll go down to 26 percent and then in 2034 it'll go down to 22 percent and then the year after that, it just completely expires. If you've already installed a solar system a couple years prior and you got a big tax credit check, let me know because I haven't heard that from anybody. I like to know your scenario, what happened, because that way we all can learn from it. The big talk of the moment right now is the 30% that you can get for your total install cost. And I wanna give examples of how you could get that 30% back, that including your, we did a in-phase system, so we did a combiner box. We have a AC disconnect, all of the conduit, the rocking system, the solar panels, uh, even breakers that go inside of your main panel. So you are eligible for 30% if you have a tax liability at the end of the year. So let me give you an example of what that means. Say this system costs $30,000. That means at 30%, you would have a tax credit of $9,000. That doesn't mean you're going to receive a check for $9,000 next year once you file taxes. What that means is if you've paid, say, $10,000 in taxes, your tax liability, now you will only owe $1,000. Now, if... You don't use that entire credit, it rolls over to the following year. So let's say that same system, $30,000. Now your tax liability in this example is $5,000. So that means next year you would have zero tax liability with a 4,000 credit rolling over to the next year. See, it doesn't mean you're going to be getting a check so you can go buy a car or buy a new lawnmower or buy these new things. A lot of solar companies will lead you to believe that you're going to get a massive check after paying their massive bill the next year so you can go pay down your house or pay down these things that is false i want to just touch base with you guys it's an awesome deal if you have a tax liability so if you're a disabled veteran or something of that sort i don't feel like this tax credit covers you so you may want to talk to a cpa your certified public accountant or someone that does your taxes to make sure you would be covered because from everything that I'm finding they're leaving out disabled veterans which I am not happy with 
I feel like those should be your number one people that we should be taking care of. But this is the law that's being passed. If you do not have a tax liability, you will be left out on this solar credit. This is not for everybody. So just make sure you're educated if you're looking at getting a solar system and you don't have that tax liability, you're probably not gonna get that 30% tax. Now, it is great for the average American that is going out and paying a ton of taxes throughout the year. So with that said, I just wanna make sure that my audience understands not everyone is eligible for that 30% tax credit. They're making it out like everyone is eligible for 30%, that's false. It is not, uh, if you don't have a tax liability, you will not get uh, any back on your solar. So don't let somebody come and sell you like you're gonna get this big massive check at the end of the year. Say, like I got quoted, I got quoted a ridiculous amount, let's just say that. And they said, oh, you can pay down your house with that money. You can do whatever you want and pay a car. That's actually the words that I was told, and that was false. So I thought something was wrong with that. I looked into it. I found that these companies were lying to people. So I decided to install my own system from uh, all the wiring, all the inspections, the permitting, everything. You can do it if you get into a situation where you think that you're being just kind of ripped off with the price of solar, which I find it is, because what people are doing, these companies are adding in that cost, that 30%, so you're paying it up front to them, and then the government gives it back, but you've paid that. You don't have to pay that. The, the cost of this equipment for us, I have a video on what this system actually cost me to install without having to hire anybody to install it for me, for all the parts, it's a 10 kilowatt system. Make sure to check that video out. I'll put it up in the link somewhere here and you can check that out. I have multiple videos on solar, so make sure to check all those out. But I just wanted to touch base on this 30% tax credit. It's a good thing, but not everybody's eligible for it. And I just wanna make sure to bring that to your attention. Now, something a lot of people do not know is if you want to install it yourself like I did, you're still eligible for all of the materials that you buy. So as long as it's new, never used items, you can install your own solar system and get that 30% tax credit. So be sure to check out the laws and make sure to get all that squared away before you start your solar system or overpay for one. But if you like these type of videos, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel somewhere down here and leave me a comment what you think. Are you gonna be eligible for the 30%? What's your situation? Why wouldn't you be eligible for the 30%? Share that with the community. Let everybody know so we can kind of get more educated together on this whole solar industry that I feel like these big companies are just coming out and taking advantage of people. I don't want that to happen to you. And I didn't want it to happen to me. So I want to share my experience. And hopefully we can all learn from that and we can save someone a ton of money down the road. All right, with all that said, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys in the next one.